Good morning. My name is Van Vermeesh with Aquaflow Supply. Um, I'm here with Susanna from the Kachuma Operations Maintenance Board um, doing some erosion control measures, slope stabilization, fire uh, restoration on the Laura Reservoir here in Santa Barbara, California. Uh, Susanna, uh, tell us about Kachuma. Sure. Laura Reservoir here is one of our main reservoirs. The Kachuma project is a large-scale federal water project that was built in the 1950s and it brings 85% of the potable water to the south coast. We have um, Lake Kachuma, which is our main water source, and we draw water from that and distribute it along the south coast through 26 miles of conduit of potable water. Lower Reservoir here has a capacity of 642 acres and we had a major fire here in May um, 5th of 2009, the Hastuta Fire, and as a result, the, um, the entire reservoir, the land around the reservoir burned, and we now have um, approximately 23 acres to hydro mulch and a major uh, restoration project as a result of the fire. So we uh, have done several measures uh, to this point of restoration and we had to select a mulch that would be appropriate for an extreme slope such as the two to one slope that you see behind me here and we needed a high performance mulch that was non-toxic, biodegradable and would essentially provide stabilization so that none of the uh, runoff and soot from the fire would get into the reservoir um, because it is a drinking water source after the water is treated. How do you like the CX2 product from a, a contractor viewpoint, mixing and everything? Um, well, I like it. I like the way it mixes. Um, it is better than some projects. It doesn't get all over the place, but it doesn't like it doesn't get clogged as easily. And it also, uh, it tends to mix up really quickly. I can actually mix it without water, which is really good. There are some products where you just cannot mix it whatsoever without water many more pounds worth can go into the machine than take another project. Well the ratio here for instance is um, one bale per hundred gallons of water. Other products like wood fiber, uh, you, for instance we're getting 30 bales in your 3,000 uh, gallon machine here. Yeah. How many would you get with a typical wood mulch? Um, I'd usually get maybe 20 more safe with about 18. And I've actually put even more than 30, and it still sprayed fine. So I was I was pleased with that. Oh, very good, very good. And then from the the spraying pers perspective, how did that work for you? Well, I sprayed from the gun, and um, it uh, spread very easily. You're adding seed to it. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Um, it's nice, like uh, when you do wood fiber and paper fiber, then you always have to add like uh, some type of glue, whether it be organic or a uh, non-organic type of glue. This stuff, uh, you didn't have to add any, which was nice. And also, there's other products where you don't have to add any product, any uh, glue, and they're like so slick that it's actually extremely dangerous to walk around on top of the machine when they're when you're using them. This does not leave a slick residue everywhere all over the place, which is good too. So from your standpoint, it was just a favorable product, and mm -hmm. uh, performance being what it is from an application standpoint, it, it was favorable. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, well thank you, Don. We'll see you on the slopes. One of the reasons uh, I suggested CX2 was because number one, we had an extreme slope where we're dealing with uh, two to one to one to one slopes. Uh, but also, um, there was no plastic product um, 
in the mulch. It was uh, entirely biodegradable and non-toxic. Um, our first measure that we put in was uh, sediment control, and we see the four bars. Um, those were for initial rainfall to contain that. Um, we used North American Green uh, Sediment Stop uh, because it too is uh, biodegradable with no plastic. Um, and so we put that in with silt fence at the bottom to support a logging effort that went on prior to the hydro mulching. Now that we're doing the hydro mulching, Acacia Erosion Control is doing that job and a fine job at that. They started yesterday at the bottom of this slope shooting upward with uh, hoses and uh, then they're going to go from the top down I think this afternoon. Uh, concentrated effort on today. Um, and again, primarily this is drinking water reservoir, so we wanted to make sure there was no plastic in the um, mulch at all, uh, anything that could um, uh, harm the drinking water or the, the process they're involved in. John, how do you like the Hydra CX2 product? I like it a lot. I've been doing Hydra seeing for a couple of decades now, and I think it's a superior product. Uh, one of the things that the crew really likes about it is the way it loads in the machine. You can get uh, 30 or more bales in a 3,000 gallon tank, so there's a high uh, material to water ratio that's uh, acceptable. Um, one of the things that we all like about the way it sprays out is um, it sprays out um, in such a way that it's not super thick, but it's super effective. And it conforms to the soil um, so that all the irregular irregularities of the soil are accounted for such that also there's a high seed to soil contact with this product which is really good for germination so it's an excellent uh, growth medium also uh, from the point of view of the customer especially in this case is that it's not not toxic and um, for this particular project it's right around um, the reservoir for the drinking water of Santa Barbara and they can't have any sediment or toxins in the water whatsoever. So this product's really good for that. Um, also, the service that's been provided by AquaFlow has been e excellent. And um, I'd like to really commend them for that. So uh, that's about it. Santa Barbara, California, beautiful day. control, slope stabilization. Uh, you know what, let's start. What am I talking about this for? <laughs> <laughs>